Hello, dear friends. I had a, an amazing experience yesterday, and so I wanted to share a little bit about that. I had a dream come true all my life. Well, no, not as a little girl. When I was a little girl, I dreamed of being a gymnast in the Olympics, and that didn't ever happen. But since I was in my early 20s, I think, I wanted to be able to speak at a retreat because I really enjoy speaking to women. And a retreat is such, you know, a great venue because people have come away from their normal lives and they might feel nervous, but they, I think they're a little more open and ready to receive things. Anyway, I got to do that yesterday and um, it's the church that I was actually slated to speak. I thought my dream was coming true last January, but then I got cancer and I had to cancel it and I'd been working on the retreat and everything. So I got, it's like a redemption. Um, the fact that it was the same church and everything, I just feel like God was saying, I'm not done. Yet, yeah, Jamie, your life still has stuff to do and enjoy. So, um, I kind of just, I mean, one little thing that I wanted to talk about is that um, I was able to be myself. I'm pretty sure that the, um, yeah, I just felt free. And I was able to just enjoy myself and enjoy the women and enjoy what I had to share. Um, and that was really an incredible experience. Uh, afterward, though, of course, I started, shame started wanting to talk and say, <laughs> I can't remember what I was going to say. Shame was saying, uh, oh, that was such a dead speech. That was such a stupid, you messed up. I mean, it wasn't polished. It, it, you didn't do all you were supposed to say and blah, blah, blah. So, but I woke up today and God's voice is bigger than that one. And I feel he's saying, um, you know that stuff you're hearing is just crap. It's it's just like not true. Um, and so I'm more in my right mind today, and that's really nice. Um, I also wanted to say that yesterday was one of my worst hair days, maybe in my whole life. <laughs> and, uh, it was kind of like this. Now, see, this kind of looks good in this thing. I think I don't know. It's okay, but. Uh, he, <laughs> you can see all my vanity and insecurities, but my hair was a fluff ball. And every time I'd go to the bathroom, you know, it was all day and I went several times, I'd look in the mirror and be like, really? What? <laughs> I thought, you know, mm. so I'd get some water on my hands and I'd try to make some distinct curls or something because it was just this fluff and um i just couldn't believe it i like what why today this is when i need to look my best and um but then i'd go well these women have opened their hearts to me with fluff hair man maybe i don't have to be cute and that would be very freeing and i'd walk out the door kind of disappointed that i didn't have more power of cuteness, but that's just my ego. And um, I'd also walk out the door free and able to look in the eyes of these women and, and know them. So what do you have that you feel like can be sort of an armor? Cause you know, if my hair looks cute, it's a bit of an armor. 
in that it protects me from, um, you know, flaws people might see and, and that might push them away from me. Instead, it's something that like might draw them to me. Um, what do you have that's like that? I, I don't want to use my hair or anything else to try to wake, make, make my way through life. And especially as I'm aging, I'm really wanting to lean into the, the deeper, more powerful things about me as opposed to just hair. So it was a blessing. These women were so, they received me. And that was such a gift. As one of the things I talked about in the talk was our greatest need is to be wanted in the room. And I believe that is a Kurt Thompson. I need to give him credit. Um, a Kurt Thompson statement. But you, you, watcher of this video, you are wanted in the room. I know you are. Have a great day. I'll talk to you soon. I hope. I hope I won't talk myself out of doing a video. Bye.